to think about it. 70 years ago, 23,000 people died. That was World War I. It was getting ready for holiday. Imagine you just relaxing and then bombs dropping down. We all have to really think about it. I believe this is my third year I was doing Pearl Harbor. And I said it's important because a lot of people have forgotten. They take it as a, any other day. It's not a, any other day. People who lost their lives for us. So I said it would start off really small, and then the second year got bigger. We did it at a nursing home, and we had intergenerational, and then now we need a bigger form. And I want to thank you, Ms. Burris. You said we can have it here. And I hope we continue. Yes, let's give a hand for that. So she could have said, no, my seniors are equal. So I want to thank you all. Hurry up that they can come on in. That's too. all right, baby. They want to say for lunch. That's, That's okay. true. That's good. Thank you so much. But we have to always bring it out at Pearl Harbor Day. Talk about it. Tell your young people about it. I know you all are talking about it. But we, it's our obligation to let the young people know what Pearl Harbor meant to us. Our freedom. Our safety. How many lives was lost and why they were lost. But now how can we make sure that we still continue holding up the Star Spangled Banner, saying we are still here, USA, and alive and strong. But our people have paved the way for us to live that we could walk around free. Some people cannot without bombs dropping down on them, so we are truly blessed. And I want to thank everyone who came here today to say, yes, I'm here, I was with you, I'm alive, full and direct. Oh, he trying to tell me. I like that song, too. Mm-hmm, love that song. His daughter would like to say some words. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. This is your daughter, Lisa, and all your daughters, and your son. He wants to say how so proud we are of you, and you is a treasure of us. We forever love you. We stand right beside you. You bless them. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get my hand. He's serving in the military. He has been deployed to Massachusetts. Then they sent him to L.A. And while he got to L.A., they shipped him over to Hawaii. So that way, he can be at the original Pearl Harbor celebration. Again, I thank all the men on behalf of my son for the service that you did to make it better for him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And in between, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? We'd be swallowed up. But thanks be to God who give us the victory. I've had some good days. I've had some years to climb. I've had some weary days and some lonely nights. But when I look around and I think they go all my good days, I wake my bad days. I won't. Thank you. 
gonna give us a few words, and that's our last honoree of today. And and we have one from Senator Sampson just as well, and Assemblyman William Boylan. So we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. Here go one. Oh, here go one. September the 26th, 1939. Wow. And I came out October the 8th, 1945. Wow. My birthday, January the 8th, I'll be 92 years old. Wow. going for me here. Bring me my mama here, right quick. And stay like I got I want to read this. And for you preachers that are here, you keep talking about chapter so and so in Psalms. Psalms does not have chapters, it has division. I'm coming from the first division, Psalm number eight. Okay. Now, no, number eight. O oh Lord, our oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who have set the glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Okay. I can feel the heat from the motor. And I said, Lord, I'm not going to make it. But think of me telling the Lord, I came through World War II, didn't even get a broken fingernail. Supported. Who here has heard of uh, Jim Douglas MacArthur? Came out of Corregidor. And he went, uh, I don't know where he went. Anyway, when he came back to uh, the Philippines, my ship, the USS Jackson, supported him. The Jackson, the Garfield, and the Hayes, they were luxury line. But when uh, Douglas MacArthur went to the Philippines, we supported him. I'm not going to give you too much of this. I got a collection. Oh, green. I got, a, I got to collect some American currency. I am old. I am old some. When the, the state of Arkansas gave out bonus, I was here in New York. I didn't get that bonus. Okay, so I want that bonus. Those going all the way back. 46 to 47. Right. I might be old, but I ain't no cold. <laughs>
Councilwoman Dolly Milley, thank you so much. It gives me great honor and pleasure to stand here on behalf of my boss, Senator John Sampson, the Chief of Staff Nathan Bradley had to rush out, but it's always a pleasure for me to stand here. It's even more of a pleasure for me to make this announcement on behalf of our honorees. The names have already been called, so what I'm going to actually do is to move the time clock a little faster, is that I'm going to call your names and I just need you to raise your hand and I will actually come over to you. Is that all? Okay, Mr. Kane will actually...